What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? So today guys, do we feel to be different, have some fun and be yourself guys, but it is currently Saturday, May 23rd, 20, yeah, 23rd. And I have been posting videos daily for a couple days now, and I know I won't post, I'm not gonna post videos daily, all the time, but there will be uh, videos here and there, and I've started something new called Brainy News, and it's just pretty much me breaking down my music and telling you what the meaning behind the projects and the singles and all that stuff is. So if you guys haven't already checked out Brainy News, I think you guys should. There are already two episodes out. One is talking about Down in Flames, which is my first um, big release on any on every single streaming platform. And then um, I have a single called Double Trouble, which I did a little meaning behind as well. And the next one will probably be, I don't know when it will be posted. Maybe it will be posted after this video. Um, so, uh, yeah. but Or maybe before this video. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yesterday, or whenever you guys are watching this, or whenever this is being posted. But on Saturday, after I posted... So like the day after I posted Double Trouble, uh, another Way Life Goes video was released. So that is episode four. Be on the lookout for more uh, Way Life Goes videos. There might be one weekly, every two weeks. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling about this series and all that. But it is such a nice day outside. It is currently 27 degrees. So I'm about to go outside in the pool with John and everything and just enjoy the nice weather outside today. Because honestly, it is amazing. But yeah, so I'm about to go do that. So I'll catch back with you guys when we are done in the pool. Jam, jam, down a banner. So I just got out of the pool right now, and I could say it was an, it was amazing for real. And, uh, but it is such a nice day outside and it honestly feels like summer and, um, I, it, it's amazing. So this actually a couple past days have been really good. And, uh, Thursday was a really good day. Friday was a really nice day. And today is a really nice day. So you can't really ask for more. And apparently tomorrow is supposed to be really, a really nice day and the week is supposed to be really nice. So which is really good and school is wrapping up we have like five weeks left and uh, CPTs are almost done which they're like big tasks and they're like worth uh, now they're worth like 30 percent of your mark because there's no more exams so once those are done it'll pretty much feel like summer which is it'll pretty much, it'll be like summer pretty much because there won't be many other like assignments left but I'm really excited because a lot of music has been dropping and there's no been like no really bad album this year and which is actually really good because people are saying like 2020 uh, music wise is like feeling like 2016 17 music wise and Uzi is um, he's already dropped two albums and he's probably gonna drop another one during this year and which is amazing because he said he's gonna be treating uh, 2020 like 2016 which means he dropped three projects in 2016 and so he, that means he's going to be dropping three projects in 2020 and then Trippy Red will be dropping Pegasus when he's 21 and he turns 21 on June 18th this year and um, I believe June 18th is a Thursday so the earliest probably it could be dropping is the 19th and um, of June because that's a Friday and Friday is like ideal for uh, album sales so it should be interesting and then there's a new Juice World album sometime soon called Outsiders or, or The Outsiders which I'm really looking forward to and then Little Yachty is dropping Little Boat 3 which is the third installment and last installment of Little Boat his little trifecta and it is dropping on May 29th, so I'm really excited for that. And there's just been a lot of projects dropping and stuff like that. So I've been giving them all a listen, and I really, really haven't heard one bad project yet. So it's 
it's really exciting that th that this year is is really transitioning from like all the, like there hasn't been really any like bad music so it's kind of good because it's been not a great year like every otherwise but music wise it has been amazing but other than that I'm about to go downstairs and publish yeah uh, the last way life goes so I'll catch you guys later. It is currently now the next day. It is currently 1.39 and I'm about to make hot dogs and uh, it'll be good. I'm making them for myself and my father and I have some homemade iced tea here. So we're off to a great start of the day and um, but we put we just put the cover over the pool and to keep the heat in and that tree right there knocks all the leaves into our pool so it's not the nicest thing but we also put up this umbrella yesterday so it makes it look more like summer pretty much but um yeah so yesterday was a really fun day we we went outside in our uh, neighbor's driveway and we were just having a fun time and we were whatever it was like six feet apart between uh, between us so it was like we were near like the end of the driveway and then it was like our other neighbors were on the other side and then the, uh, they were at the front but it was a lot of fun we had pizza and all that stuff and then today is a really hot day outside so I think John and I are gonna watch Spider-Man 2 and then we are about to go outside so um, I'll catch you guys back later. It has been around, I think, I don't even know, like three weeks, two weeks since the last time I recorded anything. And a lot has gone on. Um, I've been working on a lot of schoolwork. So that has taken up a lot of my time and then during the night um, I'd be doing working on some music and stuff like that. So a lot has happened. My birthday has come. I dropped a new album on my birthday and so and I got a new album on my birthday. So I got the Johnny Cash American 4 um, album on my birthday. And it has my favorite song um, from Johnny Cash on here called Hurt. And believe it or not, I sampled Hurt in my new album, Dreams and Nightmares. And the, the song is called Feeling Hurt. So if you guys haven't checked that out, go check it out. But um, yeah, so I dropped Dreams and Nightmares on my birthday. It has 21 songs total and an intro and an outro. So it's a complete project. It's a pretty good project. It's my favorite project that I put out yet. And it's the first of three projects that I will be putting out. Um, not this year, of course. They'll be uh, separated over a span of years. But, um, so I got that on my birthday. Um, I got this thing right here. And it's like a charger for all my, like, electronics and stuff. So it keeps on, it's like a charging station. Um, I got a bunch of clothes. And I got this shirt, for sure. I got this one on my birthday. And uh, it was a really, really fun birthday, even though it was I was stuck inside. But on my iPad, if I go to my iPad really quick, and I'll show you all the music that I've been working on. And it's color coordinated. So it's in my, on my Google. And so here we go. All of my, all of my projects and then the green ones are the ones that are out, so Celtic Heritage, Down in Flames, Dreams and Nightmares, Eye to Eye, Rough World, and The Last Kingdom. Those are out, and the red ones are the ones that are not out yet. So, there are like six projects, six things that have yet to been released. And they are different types of projects. They span from six to 21 songs um right, yeah six 
besides the light of Christmas which is just a single but the project spanned from six songs to 21 songs so um, I'm not gonna give anything away but there are there are 12 different projects in here and there have been six that have been released and six that have not been released and I am working on another project right now believe it or not so another one that will um, yet to be released and uh, it'll be another type of project so if I go and rename see how self the heritage is an EP and then some of these are EPs and some of these are uh, not EPs so um, take a guess of which ones you think are EPs and which ones are not EPs and uh, there, are, there are just just a whole abundance of different sounds on the projects and that's why they're separated like I'm sure I could make like one big album or a couple albums out of all like the six but like they don't follow the same like structure as if I put to put them together so they're structured separately so that's why they're different projects and if I was I have I've tweeted something out and I think I screenshotted it on my iPad um, and if I bring it up if I could find it at that is um, let me see um, oh yeah so when I to I released um, and the new EP although it's changed the uh, the cover now but I said eye to eye out now five song EP enjoy uh, we are about the projects not the singles and what this means is that I know there are artists out there that um, just put out singles and then see how they do and then uh, throw those singles into an album or like a, a mixtape just because those singles did well and they have no correlation with the the project and stuff like that so I I when I first started uh, like making music especially this year not more or less last year because last year was just kinda well especially the original eye to eye on SoundCloud it was just kinda like the coolest songs that I just put together into one album and then this year I really thought to myself like if you think about it the people that structure an album is the album becomes timeless so I thought to myself what is the point of just making singles and then just putting them on an album when it's like to make like a structure of an album so that's what I'm doing now and as you guys can see Down in Flames is structured Rough World is structured Celtic Heritage is structured The Last Kingdom is structured and Eye to Eye is structured and Down in Flames and so originally um, I, there were singles on my um, on my Spotify account but now there are only like EPs and albums and because there used to be Mariposa used to be a single uh, Double Trouble used to be a single Childhood Memories used to be a single uh, Omega used to be a single Amnesia Chances used to be a single and UFO used to be a single but if I go on um, where, let's see, if I go on my Spotify quickly, um, just pull it up, let's see, um, let me see if I can get it, okay, so, if we're on my profile, this is my profile, and um, so the top song is Omega, and they're all songs off of Down in Flames now, I mean Dreams and Nightmares, um, but see how what I'm talking about, there are just six projects now, uh, Rough World, Celtic Heritage, um, Eye to Eye, and then albums are Down in Flames, so last uh, Kingdom and 
Dreams and Nightmares. And so the singles are pretty much EPs. They're not singles because they have multiple songs on there. And so if you're ever to see like, oh, I released like a single, it comes up as a single. Um, it's not, it's, they are multiple songs on that project. Um, I could tell you that. And Rough World uh, comes up as a single because it's only three songs and it's only eight minutes long. But it is an EP. So there are three songs in that one. Um, this one, it says EP. It comes up EP because there are five songs. It has to be like four songs, I think, for an EP or something like that. Um, and then there are five songs in this one, which it, it says it comes up in EP. And that was released May 26th. And then Down in Flames is an album because it has seven songs on it. But it's kind of like an EP. It's like a mixtape type thing. It's not like a true album. Um, and then Last Kingdom is an album. But it's kind of, but not really. It's like a mixtape. It's like, um, like a, it's like Dreams and Nightmares is an album. But Down in Flames and The Last Kingdom are like, um, they're not EPs, they're just like a bit above EPs, but they're not albums yet. That kind of makes any sense. But Dreams and Nightmares has uh, 21 songs on it. It's my biggest project so far. And what I can say from the, how I said there are three um, like parts to Dreams and Nightmares. Dreams and Nightmares being the first installment. And um, they're not going to be like Dreams and Nightmares 1, 2, and 3. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, a trilogy where you're seeing like, um, like movies and stuff like that. That's what it's going to be like. And they're all going to have 21 songs on it. And there will be... It'll follow like the same kind of thing of... Um, Dreams and Nightmares, but it tells a whole story from the beginning of Dreams and Nightmares till the end of the last project. It tells a whole story. So when they, the other two drop, which will be, they'll be spread out between a couple years. But um, yeah, so I don't know. It's been a while since I recorded. It felt good to record again, but uh, I don't know when I'll see you guys again, but I'll catch you guys then. It is now Monday, um, and this is technically like the last week of school, but it's not really the last week of school because my school week already finished last week pretty much. I don't have any class this week, so this week is pretty much like a relaxation week. And then this Friday, um, me with my family and a couple other people we are having like a graduation celebration for me for graduating high school so it's going to be a fun celebration on friday because my prom was going to be actually this friday june 26th so um that it should be a lot of fun and it kind of sucks that i'm not having like a regular graduation year and all that but it is what it is but dreams and nightmares has been out for almost two weeks now and it is it is my most streamed um, project yet which is kind of cool because I really worked hard on this project and to see that it has been getting like very good streams and streaming and all that but I just wanted I, I made it it's for the quality of music that is in the project it is not quantity even though it is 21 songs like every song to me is a different sound and different a feeling to it so it's uh, overall it is my best project personally and before I dropped this project Down in Flames was my number one project and then Dreams and Nightmares crushed Down in Flames and it, it has 21 songs but it has 37,000 all-time streams for this release which is kind of crazy so to think about that, 30, 37,000 all-time streams. And uh, I mean, my most popular song came off that project. 
and I, I did drop it before and it has 15,000 streams but to think about that 37,000 streams from the project from one project that's like 37 like that's a lot of to me personally that's a lot and I just think that it's kind of crazy because if I go on my on Spotify and click on my account um, my my all my five popular songs are all from my project and we have Omega at 15,000 stuck in space almost at 2,000 flower chase at 1,000 almost 1,500 Amnesia Chances has 3,000, The Fall has 1.2 and then even if, uh, say if I was on like a computer because you can go on like 10 most popular songs or something on a computer instead of 5 on like a phone or something like that it, uh, all 10 of my most popular songs are uh, songs off of Dreams and Nightmares and on here we have popular releases and Dreams and Nightmares is my most popular, Down in Flames is next, The Last Kingdom is after that, and Eye to Eye is after that. So, um, I wanna, this Down in, or Dreams and Nightmares is my last project of the year. That being said, there will be a single at the end of the year, and you, if you watched earlier in the video, there was something that was on my, uh, on my Google Drive, and in a folder so that song will be released later in the year and it is a single for one reason and one reason only because it is not going to be on any project and it's just a single by itself because it has a story by itself so um but yeah so honestly i don't know i'm probably going to go outside in the pool later today but this video has been filmed over like a month about and which is kind of crazy but i do believe that is going to have to end off today's video so i basically like to thank you guys so much for watching and i do hope you guys enjoyed and if you like to watch another video guys please subscribe to my youtube channel turn on my post notifications and smash that like button smash see you guys tomorrow. peace out i will see you guys in tomorrow's video